Yay, such a pretty sound. I love this game. So much fun. All right, here we go. And I want to go through here. Bounce up. And, oh, not high enough. Try it again. And got... Ooh! Oh! All right, okay, okay, okay. We'll do this again. All right. Oh, Flappy Bird. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, music makes me feel better. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And there we go. And I'm through. Hooray. And up, 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 up. And I got it. And oh, again! No! Oh, I hate this game so much. I'm going to break it. I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, God. Oh, this app is useless. I'm, I'm throwing my iPad out. I hate it. This dumb game. Oh, I really regret that now. Well, that was a total fail, wasn't it, Kopi? <laughs> hey, everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Think Slab, where today we're going to be buying a new mine pad in the city because I threw mine in lava. You know, you'd think that there'd be like a do not enter sign or maybe like a like a caution or something. You know, Kopi, I mean, we sh they should tell us to be careful around this thing, you know? <laughs> Well, that's like the third one this week, guys. I, 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 I love to play uh, Flabby Bird, and I just can't help myself. I keep smashing them when I get frustrated. But anyway, before we go there, let's check out the newest minion in Things Lab. It's Pixels, guys. You can see the comment below from the lucky winner. And if you're looking to get your own minion in Things Lab, stick around to the end of the video, and I'll show you how. Now, let's head back back to the city so we can go ahead and pick up one of those mine pads and Kobe why don't you stay here and keep an eye on Dave I, I just don't know about these minions lately <sighs> all right I'll be back uh, you know I kind of needed a new one anyway so I'm gonna head over to the Apple store I'm in the city um, I think it's up this way we just got to go through the park here look at the beautiful uh, sunset uh, as sun is starting to set today and run through the park here it always looks so modern in the city up oh, here we are we are right here in front of the ge building we've got the apple store downstairs here apple store there's a line are you kidding me oh god how long oh look at this guy he's he's been in line so long he's got to go to the bathroom <laughs> and he can't even hold it stop staring at me dude you're creeping me out okay look it says here get out of the Mind pads are sold out, but you've got like four on the wall. I need my mind pad. How am I going to play Flappy Bird? Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, gosh. Look at, oh, gosh. Even Harrowbrand, even Harrowbrand can't get one. This is, this is terrible. And he is kind of staring at me too here. Um, wow. Okay. Well, I, I guess, you know, everybody wants one and uh, apparently there aren't any. So, man, I wonder if the minions can do anything. Maybe... Maybe that lava uh, pit, um, maybe it goes somewhere to a, like a trash compactor, but I, I'm pretty sure it's gone. Let's go talk to Dave. Oh, man, I, I'll have to order it online, but if there's a line like that in the store, I can't imagine how long it's going to be if I have to wait for them to ship it. Oh, man. Worst day ever. Throw my mind pad into lava, and now there is a line, and they're all sold out. Dave, my friend, you've got a computer. Can you get on to the Apple Store and check the wait uh, for ordering online for mind pads? Because they were all sold out. There was a super long line, and I need my mind pad back. You know what I did to mine, and yeah, unless you guys have some special system, I lost it for good. What do you mean you guys know how to make them? Huh. Is that legal? Technically legal, but who's gonna... I, okay, I guess I won't tell, uh, but does it have Flappy Bird? No, no Flappy Bird. You see, we have to download HAPS from the HAPS store, being a knockoff model and all. Here, check it out. HAPS from the HAPS store. Really, Dave? Okay, what? Oh, okay, cool. Okay, it's called a hoon pad. That is not a mine pad. Um, okay, I guess we just... Uh, well, let, let, let's see how this is. Let's see how they built this, first of all. It, it was built with five pieces of obsidian, a glass pane, two pieces of redstone, and a diamond. Hmm. 
That, I mean, I guess redstone for electronics, obsidian. I mean, well, let's see if this thing actually works. Let's let's take a look. And Okay, cool. Wow, this thing actually works. I mean, the graphics aren't as good as my mind pad, but look, we've got a creeper app where we can explode. This is cool. We got a rocket. We got a ton of apps here. We got movies, houses, quick menu. We got XP. I mean, this is awesome. Um... Quick question for you, Dave. Uh, you know the app that says Creeper and Explosion? Does it really explode or is it like just a game? Because I'm a little worried about using it around here. No, they don't really do anything. They're just virtual haps and gaming haps. You really won't harm anything or anyone. Just fun and games. Woo! Hmm. I don't know that I trust him. Guys... We're going to go try out this hoon pad. Um, Kobe, you can come along, but I'm warning you, this could get bad if Dave is wrong. So uh, let's head outside of the lab and get a little bit away. Uh, we can head over this way just to be safe. I do not want to take out any part of the lab. So we'll just head over here to this beautiful desert, this beautiful territory here. Uh, let's go ahead and just... Uh, this, this looks like an oh this is a nice open spot so we'll be able to tell right here whether we do any damage so uh, let's start off with the first app which is settings settings there are none okay uh, and this is the home button I guess yep okay let's try customize and we can customize our hoon pad uh, let's change uh, okay we can change the case color oh wow uh, yes um, let's get a nice color out of this this is Oh boy, let's go back to that. Oh, that, okay, how about green? I like green, that's the same color as my eyes. This looks good. Uh, screen tint color, oh, look at this. We can put a little gradient on it, oh. Let, let's see if we can get a, like, oh, a blue. Oh, this is an, oh, this is nice. Okay, this looks good. All right, oh, check it out, and it keeps it. That is really nice. So we've got world, oh, look at this, guys. We can change, we can turn rain on, although we are in the desert, so it's just gonna get cloudy. Uh, we can toggle it back off. We can make it daytime, we can make it nighttime. Uh, also, uh, before we do that, uh, you have to exit when you do things in this. So, uh, if you do nighttime, press the home key and boom, nighttime. So, uh, let's make it, um, let's go back and make it daytime cause we don't want any mob spawning and we'll make it, uh, yeah, that's a, well, let's make it like, yeah, there we go. That's a good time to be and exit the iPad. And there we go. The hoon pad gives us the right time and let's see what we're gonna save the creeper and rocket because i don't trust it let's check out player so we can transform into butter which should be mantequilla i might say secret message we can't use uh we are not one of the youtubers that are in the whitelist to see the secret message suicide obviously kill yourself and it gives us the x y and z coordinates although you can use your f3 menu for that it's got a movie app oh this is awesome look at this this poor Donald Duck getting blown up by the creeper over and over, and you can't stop it from playing. Great. Now, guys, uh, there are a couple of other apps. Let's start with the brain teaser, and this is gonna flash on the screen, and yes, guys, there we go. Brain teaser and flash and lol, 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 lol. That teases your brain because you have to watch it go up and down, up and down. Uh, okay, and we also have the quick menu, which will take us to our mods installed, and you guys can see those uh, right now. These are the ones we have installed, and pretty cool because you don't have to go out to the menu there. Obviously, about we saw before. Um, let's see, and finally, we have XP, and you can go ahead and add XP. So my current XP, I can just get it all the way up there to like, I don't know, 187 XP. Do that. Game mode S and boom, 187 XP. That is epic. Okay, now let's check out what happens when we use the instant house. So check it out, our energy is going up and we got three types of houses. Let's start with tier one. This will build a house for you guys. All you have to do is click a button and boom, built a house. Look at that. This is terrible. This is the worst house I think I've ever seen. Okay, well, I'm assuming that the tier two house is going to be made of uh, stone brick, maybe some mossy cobble, a few things like that, because this costs 40 energy. Let's see what happens here. All right, it looks like it built it, and oh! Uh, 
not a lot better. Um, we do get glowstone out of it, so that's kind of cool. Uh, don't have to go to the nether to get one piece of glowstone. Uh, I guess you could brew potions. Nope, but you'd still have to go there to get a blaze rod, so yeah. Mm, okay, and okay, tier three. Here we go. We're going to get a lot of space for this one. This one is going to be awesome. Uh, let's get really, really spaced out because tier three has got to be a nice big house. Oh, we're inside it this time. We're not getting glitched out of it, so it must be huge. It must be epic. It's a sky... That's it. Well, we got a bunch of glowstone out of it, and it has no roof. So while it is a tier three house, apparently... Tier 3 homes do not have roofs, and you can get rained on, but we're in the desert, so I guess that's okay. All right, well, let's try another app because those were a little bit lackluster, 1, 2, and 3. Let's check out the Creeper app. And uh, Dave tells me that this is not going to do anything, so all right, let's test him. Let's make a big explosion just to see it on the screen because this will probably just do a simulation on the screen. And... Uh, so you can increase explosion size. I don't even know what that would do. And you can move the explosion radius. Uh, oh, okay, so this is our current position, but you can move it up and down, left and right. Yes, and uh, all the way around. So yeah, let's click explode. And uh, uh, Dave? Um, uh-oh. Well, we blew up our tier one, tier two, and tier three homes. And I'm really, really, really glad that we did not do this in Things Lab. Uh, quite the explosion. And look at this, guys. This explosion was so energetic that it shot shrapnel through the sand. Look at this. I mean, this goes forever, guys. Wow. That is insane. Look at that. Okay. We're not using that one anywhere near Thinks lab or the city because uh yeah that wow this look at that it it, it doesn't go um uh symmetrically it goes out further this way i'm not really sure why okay well we uh obviously have that and i guess that means that the rocket app and wait i've got an idea let's uh f5 for this just in case the rocket app actually works uh so okay explosion size which may affect direction so we'll leave that at zero uh, so we don't blow anything up and oh so is this the number of blocks it goes up let's see so all right let's shoot ourselves 50 blocks up that, that seems okay and click launch get out and home menu and uh where are we Okay, 50 does not mean 50 blocks up. We are still going up. We are at <laughs> Y equals 2000 guys. Oh, check that thing out in my hand though. That looks epic. Look at that. Oh, that is awesome. That looks so cool. All right. Uh, but yeah, it turns out that, uh, well, we're at y, y equals 1000. We should, we should be coming into view very, very soon. 600, 500, 400, 300, 200. And oh, look at that. This exact same spot we came from. I have to try this with an explosion. So let's go ahead and um, let's make an explosion and see if it's any different than the creeper explosion. And we'll, 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 we'll do a modest height equals 10. Click launch and... That was not modest, and I don't... Oh, cool! Oh, I don't know why it delayed us and popped that thing open like that, but that was awesome. It looks like a similar explosion with the interesting pattern, although this one seems to have gone deeper. Um, wow, this is really wrecking our desert. Oh, man. Um, I kind of want to do it one more time with a huge explosion... And uh, let's see, uh, I hope I don't crash my game. So let's give this a try here, guys. <laughs> oh, okay, let's, let's, um, let's crank this baby up. I don't care if it affects our direction. Let's crank it up to, um, let's crank it up to 100. Why not? Uh, we'll see if we can handle this. So crank it up to 100 and we'll put height equals 10 and click launch. Oh man, this is gonna be bad. Okay, okay, I brought the menu back up. Not sure why, and coming back down. You know, the explosion is not really a whole lot bigger uh, than it was at the lower value. Uh, it seems like the rocket explosion 
sort of tops out, um, which makes me think we should do a creeper one. One last go at this. Uh, oh, look, we opened up a dungeon here. Huh. Pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, you know what? Let's let's show the, these zombies a thing or two or whatever they are. And Kopi may not want to uh, get... You know what? Why don't we come over here, girl? Come on. Uh, we don't need you in anywhere in range of this explosion here. Why don't you Why don't you come over here? Where are you? I didn't even know you were around. Did, where'd she go? Okay, she she's not around, so uh, we should be fairly safe. Let let's let's put it in the hole that we've already created and see if we can make a bigger one. Kopi, all right, girl, you need to sit down. All right, she she's she's trying to involve herself. I I understand, I understand, but we can't have her anywhere near near this explosion. Um. Okay, so, oh boy. All right, here we go. If she, okay, there we go. So she's not gonna come. So let's go ahead and explode by 100 and see if it's any bigger with the creeper one. And I'm not really sure what the creeper's zero number is, um, but anyway, let's give it a shot. We're gonna do explosion size 100. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Explode and, okay, it brought the menu up again. Um, and let's see here. Ho, oh, ho, ho. Wow. So um, that's about the maximum size of the explosion. And, I mean, this is a cool way. If, if you wanted to make some cool patterns in your um, <laughs> in your world, this is probably a cool way to do it. See, we've got explosions from three different areas, and their intersecting lines are different, as you guys can see. From all the shrapnel, actually four. This is a great carved desert here. And, uh, wow. Wow. This was awesome. Kopi, I think we should, uh, yeah, you look cute in here, I, I gotta admit, but uh, I'm gonna head back to the city. We're gonna take you home first, girl, back to the lab, and then uh, I, th I think we should use a rocket to get an overview of the skyline. Now that we know how to use it, we know, uh, we know not to use the explosion part, and uh, <laughs> because that would have gotten us in a ton of trouble in the city. Trust me, guys. We don't want any of that. Let's get Kopi in here. Come on, dog. Why are you not following me? She she just wants to be the star. She she wants to be the star. She wants to hang out and uh and 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 and, and show off in the explosions. And I, I honestly Oh, you know what? I know what to do. She always whenever we go down into the lab, she always follows. So let's head all the way down here and see if we can get her to hang out with the minions. Come on, girl, where are ya? Where are ya? Come on. You know you're coming. The minions are singing for you. Come on, girl. Where have you gone? Hello. There she is. I heard her bark, and there she is. She finally showed up, guys. Let's sit her down and head to the city. And she's... I, I would leave you running around, but if I don't sit you down, you're going to follow me all the way to the city. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty modern place that you don't want to go to today. So, okay, guys, let's head back to the city and check out the skyline using the rocket app from our hoon pad. All right, guys, we are back in the city. And now that we know how to use the apps and that Dave didn't give us all the information that we needed, uh, we can go ahead and use this to check out the skyline without having Homeland Security, if we did something like that, uh, come after us in the city for blowing part of it up. So I think what we'll do is make ourselves a little rocket of height 15 Seems about, uh, seems pretty good. It's probably a little bit high, but we can come down and get an overview of the city because it is one beautiful skyline. So I recommend you guys check it out. Are you ready? Boom. And oh, there we go. And uh, how high did we go? Oh, only 500. So I didn't go too, too high. There we go. And OMG, check this city out, guys. Uh, we've got the Capitol building over there. We've got, uh, let's see, we've got, oh, this is the Willis Tower here. There's the Empire State Building. Uh, we've got uh, the, 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 the towers in Malaysia. I mean, we've got everything in this city, guys. It is an amazing map. You guys can download it in the description. There's a link to it called Eland. And it's, I think, a constantly op updated project with skyscrapers and whatnot. And the reason you see that the, the purple and black is because it's a 1.7 map and we're in 1.6. But anyway, this goes on and on and on, and uh, I think that is a, a pretty good overview of this beautiful map 
and this mod, the Hoon Pad mod. If you want to try it out for yourself because it looks so epic in hand, go ahead and check the description for a link to download the mod and try it for yourself so you can blow things up and fly high in the air and do all kinds of things. It is supposed to work for multiplayer, so you may be able to use it on servers to prank your friends. Maybe. I don't know. Give it a shot. Now, if you want your very own minion here in ThinkSlab, pick up those chopsticks and poke that like button as hard as you can, and post in the comments below what you'd like your minion's name to be, and whether you'd like it to be a boy or a girl. Also, I'd love suggestions for mods you guys would like to see in ThinkSlab in the future. If this is your first time watching one of my ThinkSlab's videos, why don't you become a noodler today and subscribe? I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, and of course, new line!